So here are uh, structures of different shapes of uh, bacteria, cocci. You see, under cocci we have diplococci. Can you see the, the, the structure, how it looks like? It occurs in pairs. Example, we have streptococcus. Streptococcus pneumoniae or pneumonococci. So here is staphylococci. Can you see? The, the spherical shapes are irregularly ar arranged. Can you see the streptococci? The shapes. Can you see it? It is arranged. You see bass line? This is bass line. Rot shape. Rot shape bacteria. Example, we have E. coli that is found in human intestine. The vipros. Can you see it here? See it. Example, vibro cholera, like, like I said. And it looks like it looks like uh, coma in shape. So next one is sprile, sprile or sprila. Can you observe the shape? You see, that's how it, it looks like. See it's parakeet. Second one is virus. Plural viruses. The viruses are intracellular parasites. That is, usually viruses are inactive outside the living cell. But immediately when they invade a living cell, they activate themselves. That is why they are called intracellular parasites. Virus, they are very they are smaller than bacteria in the sense that they can't be viewed, you can't be able to view them with light microscope unless you use electron microscope. So they are shapes, they occur in rod, rod like shape, spherical or oval shape. So nuclear material is enclosed in protein wall. Let's look at the different shapes of virus here. These are different examples of viruses and their structures. For example, let's look at the, the adenovirus. You see the structure? See how it looks like? You see herpes virus? See this in uh, Picona virus? And here. Look at the virus now, coronavirus here. So these are different examples of uh, examples of viruses and their structures. So most of them they look like rod, spherical or ovoid in shape. Sorry. Examples of diseases that viruses is to cause are HIV AIDS, poliomyelitis, coronavirus, and common cold virus. So now let's look at the protist. Protist, you know they are eukaryotic, they are eukaryotic unicellular microorganisms. But the, the eukaryotes or the proteins that we are going to talk about now is protozoans. Protozoans are divided into two. We have free living and parasitic ones. The free living, they don't have any, they are not harmful. Example, amoeba, paramecium. While parasitic ones, they live inside host and they cause disease. For example, plasmodium is a good example of um, a protozoa that causes uh, malaria in human beings. And trypanosome, it causes disease called trypanosomiasis or sleeping sickness. The next types of microorganism that I'm going to discuss about is fungi. Fungi is divided into two. We have saprophytic ones, the, those that feed on the dead bodies. And we have parasitic ones, those that live on inside the living body and causes disease. Example, we have penicillin, we have aspergillus and rhizopause nigricans, which is brain more.